Hey everyone. Welcome back to the Rift Sphere channel. Now that we've got Chikaka installed, let's dive into its configuration to explore its capabilities. To start, open the application via the Docker tab or Heimdall and use your configured password to access it. The included directories already showcase the default storage folder. If you've added more folders in the Docker configuration, be sure to include them here. Enable the recursive option to cover all subfolders. In the excluded directories tab, commonly excluded folders are listed. If your storage isn't restricted to specific shares, add folders like app data, Docker, domains, and system to this list. Simply click add. Navigate to the storage location, or use the quick access on the left. Select all desired folders to exclude by holding down the control button. It's wise to add your backup folder. Moving to the items configuration tab. You can exclude specific items or tailor Chikaka to work solely on particular files. You also have the option to set minimum and maximum file sizes. Now that our folders and items are configured, let's delve deeper into the settings. Click the configuration button located at the top right corner. Under the general tab, you can adjust the language settings. Additionally, there are options to load the configuration on startup and save it upon exiting. I recommend keeping these settings enabled. However, in a Docker container, Chikaka might not always save configuration changes accurately upon stopping the container. To ensure changes are retained, it's best to manually save them whenever alterations are made, including modifications to directories. Moving on, there are three confirmation options available, one for deleting files, another for linking files, and a third for deleting all files in a group. While having confirmation prompts is beneficial, frequent prompts can lead to blindly clicking OK. Personally, I opt for receiving a warning only if I attempt to delete all files in a group, but this varies based on personal preference. Then, there's an option to set the default display of the bottom text panel. Personally, I prefer having the additional information visible but it can occupy valuable workspace when handling numerous files. Luckily, we can easily toggle its visibility, along with the directory configuration at the top. Enabling cache is beneficial as it significantly accelerates our searches. However, saving cache as a JSON file isn't necessary. The feature to move deleted files to the trash is disabled due to the absence of built-in trash support in the Docker container we're using. Another helpful setting is to enable ignore other file systems to prevent potential errors. Afterward, we can configure the number of threads. Given that I've set the niceness to the maximum, allowing other applications priority over Chikaka, I let it utilize all available threads to optimize resource usage. Moving on to the Duplicates tab. Hiding hard links is advantageous, since these copies only consume space once. Enabling an image preview simplifies comparison tasks. Setting the minimum file size for cache storage requires a careful balance. A size too large may exclude too many files from the cache, while too small a size may slow down cache operations. I typically stick with the default value. There's also the option to employ a prehash cache. This feature generates a hash of a small section of a file, allowing for full comparisons only when the prehashes match. Although this can occasionally slow down searches, it's advisable for scanning numerous files. I'll enable this function and set the minimal size of files saved to prehash cache to match the normal cache size. Lastly, we want to ensure outdated cache entries are automatically removed. In the Similar Images tab, opt to preview the images and enable automatic cache cleanup. Similarly, in the Similar Video tab, enable the automatic cache cleanup option. And remember, always save the configuration. Now, 
let's explore what Chikaka can accomplish. Starting with one of the key functions, let's explore the search for duplicate files. Typically, the hash check method is the go-to option. Using a file content hash to pinpoint duplicates. Choosing a hash type like Blake 3 minimizes collisions and enhances accuracy. After triggering the search, you can proceed to select files manually or via the select button. Various options allow selection by size or age, reversal of selections, and choosing all or specific files. Custom selection options at the top enable actions such as selecting all files within your download directory. The sorting feature allows you to organize the list by file name, folder name, size, or selection. This simplifies the process of manual selection and verification of the correct files. Additionally, they will be used later for selecting similar images, videos and music. After selecting files, you can use the delete button to remove all selected files. Alternatively, utilize the move button to relocate selected files to a different location. Since we lack a trash feature, it's recommended to move files first and later delete the folder once you're certain about its contents. The save button allows exporting results to a text file. The symlink button creates symbolic links somewhat similar to Windows shortcuts. All links are directed to a single file. If that file is deleted, none of the links will function. While symbolic links have various uses, I recommend refraining from using this option in this context. The hard link button creates links where all duplicate files point to the same data on the disk, similar to multiple entries in a book index referencing the same page. Deleting one file won't affect the others, making it a reliable option. To link all the duplicates, you'll need to select them all before using this feature. Moving on to the empty directories tab, it's quite straightforward. It helps you search for and delete empty folders. Similarly, the big files tab allows you to search for the largest or smallest files and set the number you want to view. Empty files does precisely what the name implies. It enables the search for files without any content. Temporary files also serves a clear purpose. It scans for known temporary files and displays them. Moving on to the similar images tab. This feature allows you to scan for images that are visually almost identical, but might have differences, such as watermarks or filters applied. You can adjust the algorithm, hash size, and type to fine-tune and improve your search results. When working with similar images, you have the option to preview an image individually or use the compare button to view two images side by side for comparison, allowing you to select and manage them accordingly. If you intend to delete or move duplicates, it's best to select all the files except the one you want to retain. However, if you plan to create symlinks or hardlinks, you must select all the files within the same group. Unlike duplicate files where all the files are identical, similar image files may have differences. When creating links, they will point to the first file in the list. Since the software does not allow manual ordering, you can use this workaround. Select all files except the one you want to link to. Sort by selection. And choose the last unselected file in the group. This way, clicking the hard link button will link all files to the chosen top file. Similar videos and similar music tabs function similarly to the similar images feature. However, it's crucial to exercise caution, especially when dealing with various libraries. For instance, avoid inadvertently deleting or linking distinct libraries, such as connecting your 4K movie files to your 1080p ones. Next, there's the Broken Files tab, enabling you to identify files with errors in them. Additionally, you can verify files that have a different extension than what their content indicates. That wraps up the configuration for Chikaka. And now you have a good grasp of how to use its features effectively. Thanks for watching.
and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.